Look, 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 check this out. And I just got the confirmation for it. Literally, just. So remember that day, right? I came on here and I showed y'all that spider, right? Remember? Right here. Right? I had washed dishes, okay? And when I was washing dishes and I had washed the cup, Matter of fact, it was this cup, right? When I had washed the cup, right? I had put it down like that, okay? There was no spider under there, okay? Mind you, remember, that spider was huge, okay? And I was just, it just came to my mind, right? Out of nowhere. And I'm just standing here like... And the realization is just starting to set in. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Either that spider materialized, and I've seen that happen before. Something materialized, a 111 on my timer. Something materialized out of thin air. I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes, okay? But that's not what happened. Somebody came in my apartment when I wasn't here. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. And they put that underneath that cup. But look, it's a coffee cup, right? They didn't put it under none of the other cups. They put it under the coffee cup. Why? Because I drink coffee a lot. Somebody knows that I drink coffee a lot. The same person that actually poisoned my coffee before. I knew somebody had been in here. I knew it. I knew it. I could feel it when I came home one day. I could feel somebody else had been in here. Now I'm thinking it could have been the uh, maintenance or whatever, right? But they warned me before they come. And I didn't call them, so there was no reason for them to come in here. Two, three, four on my timer. I'm hitting a nail right on the head. I thought you may have had a key still. Well, made a copy of a key. I bet you won't come in my house again. I bet you won't come in here again. Mm hmm I bet you won't. <laughs> Try me if you want to. You know what I got in here. I bet you won't come in here again. And, and, thank you, Holy Spirit, and 333 on the timer. I didn't even tell you guys, right? Check this out. Okay, check this out. My leg, my foot was messed up for like a week and a half, right? 345 on my timer. Now, I thought it was an abscess, okay? I thought it was an abscess, right? Because I've had an abscess before, right? Those are common to people. So, I left it alone, right? Doctor told me to leave it alone, right? Don't pick at it or nothing. So I left it alone, right? It woke me up in the middle of the night every night. I had to put a hot rag on it. It hurt, like putting heat to it, excruciating pain, okay? Excruciating, all right? Putting it in hot water, oh my God. Oh my God, it hurt so bad, okay? Check this out. Hold on. Check this out. Let me get down here. Like that, that high. Check this out. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Now, now, now. Don't be grossed out. It's just a scam, right? So, see how small my foot is, right? Regular size, right? This part of my foot, see right there? 
this part of my foot swole up like this, right? And it started to spread all over my foot. My foot looked like, it looked like I weighed 300 pounds. That's how big my foot was, okay? And the tissue underneath my foot, it felt like, it felt like it was eating the inside of my foot and the tissue was, it was just getting loose, right? To the point where I can press, I can press it down and move the tissue on the inside of my foot. I can move it around my foot, right? That kind of freaked me out, okay? So I could barely walk, right? So the part, the opening or whatever, the wound, it started, it's, it started to drain, right? It started to drain like this fluid, right? And it was clear and then it was like yellow, okay? Not a lot, just a little bit. And you couldn't tell until you like wiped it with a paper towel or something or a toilet paper or whatever, right? And then I started moving, you know, my my foot like this, cause the, the tissue on the inside of my foot, you couldn't even see my ankle. It was so swollen. Like my Achilles tendon, it was swollen, right? And it, I, I was tripping like, am I have to get my foot cut off, right? So the part that it was leaking out of, right? The next day, there was another part, like another head next to it, like that it was leaking out of. So the, it looked like a spider bite. It looked like a spider bite, right? And over the course of the next like three or four days, right? It just drained slowly, right? I had uh, bandages and gauze and stuff and it just drained slowly, right? The gauze, cause gauze, they pull out the liquid, you know, out of your body, they pull out the liquid. And then my foot started going down, right? Slowly but steadily. But those two marks let me know that it was a bite, right? And the fact that the inside of my foot, the tissue was being eaten up, right? Cause you know, spider venom or snake venom, right? Anything with venom, it eats up the inside of the body, right? It kind of like turns it into liquid, right? And that was that's what was draining out of my foot, right? I had prayed over my foot, right? To heal myself, right? And that was before it started to drain, right? So I prayed over my foot, right? The next day, while I was walking, it started to drain, right? Before that, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Like I couldn't get, I could not get it to pop, right? Or to come out. And it was just making my foot worse. It was eating up the inside of my foot, right? So I prayed over my foot. I think for like 10 minutes, I prayed over my foot, right? And I'm like, Lord, I do not, I, I, come on now. I don't have to get my foot cut off. What's going on here? Like, and over the next couple, over the next, the course of the next couple of days, it started to go back down, right? It started to go down until it all drained out. I'm not sure if, it was placed in my room somewhere when I wasn't here, right? Or, I don't know, I can't, I can't think of any, you know, alternatives other than somebody came in here, right? They may have placed it under my, my blanket, my covers, something. Cause I assure you, I hate bugs, and I don't have, <laughs> I don't have no bugs and nothing running around here. Okay. Boy, 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 the judgment on on these people, man. The judgment on these people, like they'll try any way possible any way possible. And you know what? It could have been somebody for maintenance. Like, how do I know that somebody wasn't paid to come in here, right? 
or that somebody doesn't know somebody that knows somebody that knows. Do you know what I mean? 10, 10 on my timer. So I'm, I'm close. Close. I'm close, if not hitting the nail on the head. Okay, these confirmations are telling me so. Doesn't matter if it's poison. It won't kill me. Okay? Of any kind. Whether you poisoned my coffee. Didn't kill me. Just threw it up. Had a headache for a day and was a little fuzzy. But I was fine. Right? Tried to poison me with the spider. Under my coffee cup. Because they know I drink a lot of coffee. And then I get bit while I'm sleeping in my room. That's three. Signs come in threes. 11.23 on my timer. And that's a sign that somebody came in my house. But they still couldn't do the job. Is the point. <laughs> they couldn't do the job. <laughs> I bet you they won't come in here again. I, 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 I bet you they won't come in here again. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. <sighs> Beloved. If you got somebody that used to live with you, they used to have a key, change your locks, okay? 12-12 on my timer, change your locks, all right? You ain't got to worry about nobody trying to come up in your stuff, right? And you know what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. It makes sense because that day I came home and I showed you guys that the plants on my balcony, right? One of the plants were knocked totally over, dirt everywhere, Right? And there wasn't no wind blowing, and even if there was wind blowing, even if it was hard wind blowing, it wouldn't have blew my plants off, off my balcony. It wouldn't have. See? Hindsight. 2020. But that's okay. That's all right. Because all that's over now. And I gotta go. We got to go. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I just had to bring that to y'all, beloved. I just, it just hit me like, boom. I'm like, yeah, they did. But it's all good. It's all good. And, beloved, don't second guess yourself when you when you feel, right, because I came in here one day. That day, I told y'all I found my, my, my plant on the ground on the balcony. I felt... This is before I knew it was on the ground out there, Spill. I felt somebody else's energy in here, like like residual energy, you know, like a, a trace of somebody else. I felt that in my in my apartment. But I ignored it. Right? Well, I, I didn't ignore it. I kind of like stored it in the back of my mind, right? Just in case for later. And here's later, 1404. But yeah. If you got, <laughs> change your locks, beloved. Because if somebody used to live with you and they did give you back your key, 14, 14 on my timer, then they absolutely made a copy of it. They absolutely made a copy of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, uh, hey, people come in at their own risk. <laughs> at that point in time, I was going back and forth to work. But I'm here. I'm here. And they come in here if they want to. I'm just saying, it might not leave out. Man, 1444 on my timer. Don't be coming in people's houses and, and <laughs> they won't be responsible for what happens to you after that. After you step past that threshold. <laughs> Crazy.
I love y'all, beloved. All right. Be safe, man. Be safe. All right. All right. Later.